That's rare, nigga. Woo! Rick Flair, nigga. Okay, guys, straight hands equal stats. Who's the best one on this list? Well, I'll tell you right now, it's not Mikey from Tokyo Revengers. He's got decent hands, but everybody else here is way better. Next up is Ippo from Hajime no Ippo. He's got great hands, but he's got no ground or leg game, so he's gonna lose. Then there's Mike Guy from Naruto. He's got solid hands, but we haven't seen enough of him to rank higher. After Guy is Goku from the Dragon Ball series. He's got masterful hands, but with no powers and abilities, he's not gonna rank any higher. Because people like Omotokita from Kengan Ashura are more dedicated martial artists. And that dedication leads to better martial arts experience. After him, I've got Garo from One Punch Man. His hands are absolutely lethal, and he's a quick study of his opponents. It's just too bad for him that everybody above him can do the same thing. Like Yujiro Hanma from Baki. He's basically Garo, but he's got a lot more experience than him, which carries him upward. Now, the top two's a little tough. But I've got Kenichi from History Strongest Disciple Kenichi in second. We know that Kenichi at the end of the series beat Hayato. But Mori from the God of High School has arguably better feats. And that fight could really go either way.